Greetings to all. Welcome to VMware Administration Training. Srinivas, batch number 286, and it is starting today. Let's suggest an introduction about how this batch is going to conduct and what are the topics we are going to conduct. It is a first session of this batch. And before continuing to this batch, we are going to highlight some important guidelines about this batch. Yeah. At any point of time, if you would like to speak up, you can unmute, you can raise a hand so that I am in a position to unmute yourself so to speak up. Yeah. Let me unmute all. You can send a message or you can uh, raise a hand so that if you have any questions, you can ask at any point of time during this planning demo session. This demo session is free for first three sessions. Let's have a discussion. You are in a position to send messages. Okay. Let's move on. This VMware administration batch, new batch, to batch number 286 is started today. And it is going to be weekdays from Monday to Friday, morning 6 a.m. IST to 7 a.m. IST, daily one hour weekdays. And it is going to continue for four weeks. This four weeks duration is not limited. It may extend as per the post goes on. We can find the details about Logic Labs technologies. You can just open website, Logic Labs. Wherein you can find whoever going to get joined this particular batch, you can get the details from this particular logiclabs.com. As soon as you log in, you can find here on the main stream, upcoming batches. You can click on this upcoming batches and you can get a complete information about what are the online trainings are going on from Logic Labs Technologies. So I request each and everyone to click on this particular link and then go to this. We are here to learn about VMware batch, VMware administration, batch number 286. It is very important to be part of WhatsApp community to get a regular updates. As this particular demonstration is a free to attend and you are in a position to get the latest updates on WhatsApp community. If you are not part of WhatsApp community and you are not getting any details about this particular WhatsApp community, you just click on this WhatsApp. You are in a position to get WhatsApp link to join this respective group. This is a VMware administrator batch 286. And you can join to this group to get a regular updates about this batch and whatever the issues we are facing, you can contact with the admin team. Initial free session. This free sessions will be there. Initial three days, three sessions. If you want to register, you can go ahead and register. The link is available, demo registration. Whoever not part of WhatsApp community, you can click on this demo registration and you can review the course content. What is a course and what is how would the course is going on? We are, I'm going to discuss about what are the course content we are going to discuss. And at the same time, if you're happy to continue this batch, you can buy this course so that this live sessions you can join uninterrupted sessions on and you are in a position to access the recorded videos so not only vmware administration we have been from logic lab technologies we have been providing training sessions on linux administration cloud technologies emerging all emerging technologies you name it experienced faculties are delivering training sessions online sessions you can register any of the course to get a regular updates and you are in a position to enhance your skills. Please click on upcoming batches. 
and get the details about what is the course and what is the, your time it is going to start and all those details you are in a position to get. Yeah, currently we are joined here to learn about VMware. <coughs> that is batch number 286, a VMware administration, the faculty name, and when it is going to start, and what is the time window for every day, weekday or weekend, whatever time. And you are going to get a links for WhatsApp, demo registration, buy now course content. Okay, let's move on. This is a general information about the course before continuing. For any information you would like to contact admin team, the admin team is available at supportlogiclabs.com. You can send a mail communication for any kind of query. You are in a position to send support at logiclabstech.com or you can reach us on these numbers. These numbers, if you are trying to reach from outside India, you can dial or you can send WhatsApp messages on these available numbers. You can dial on through WhatsApp. So admin team is available to answer your queries next point first three sessions of this batch batch number 286 first three sessions will be free first three sessions will be free what is a free that means just a register and you are in a position to without paying anything you are in a position to attend this live sessions live sessions without a completion of the payment if you're happy with that sessions to continue from fourth session onwards you have to complete the payment to buy the course and then you are in a position to continue uninterrupted sessions of this particular batch this first three sessions will be free and you are live sessions only free the recorded sessions what are the recorded sessions for initial three sessions will be uploaded to YouTube, wherein you can share with your friends the YouTube link, how the training is going on. Even that YouTube record also free for initial three sessions. So whoever completes the payment, they are going to get a separate a Zoom link to continue the live sessions as well as additional benefits you are going to get. And once you complete the batch payment, you selected batch number 286 and completed the payment. Once payment is done, there is no option of batch shifting. Batch shifting in the sense, for example, you joined to this course, due to certain reasons, you are not in a position to continue. Later, same batch, it is going to start in, as a new batch. It is not possible to swap in. And at the same time, there is no option to SAP. You completed the payment for this particular VMware administration. And then you are not in a position to ship the batch from VMware administrator to Azure or AWS like that. So please make sure while selecting the batch and completing the payment, please cross check for what batch you are going to make the payment. Once payment is done, there is no option to ship the batch. Yeah. All these regular updates, what are the new batch and what is the new upcoming batches and who is the, what is the uh, next session, when it is going to start, all those details are going to get update on WhatsApp community. So this is very much important to get a regular import, uh, regular updates on batch for example trainer faculty is not in a position to conduct the session and that particular time you are in a position to get an update today session cancelled or to a session is going to start initial three sessions we are going to send a communication when it is going to start the session from fourth session onwards, if at all any session is going to cancel, then only you are going to get an update. So it is very much important to be part of WhatsApp community. This WhatsApp community is for as per the batch. 
for each batch the community group is differs so to get regular updates about this particular batch please join this whatsapp community i'm going to provide this link on the chat window for everyone understanding you can get the chat window this particular link you can get from logic labs technologies website wherein you can click on upcoming batches see here upcoming batches wherein you can get whatsapp link the same whatsapp group link i'm going to provide in the chat window you please just click on that link so that you are in a position to join this whatsapp group yeah the important of this live sessions you no need to worry about if, for example you miss one session no issues as it is a live session and this live sessions are going to get recorded this live sessions are going to get recorded and uploaded to lms graphy portal this particular portal access will be provided to only registered participants whoever completes the payment so they are in a position to access this recorded sessions this live session is going to conduct you are in a position to interact and once class is done you are in a position to access the record sessions n number of times there is no limitation there is no expiry so whatever the recorded sessions are there the registered participants can access the recorded sessions n number of times from anywhere anywhere any place from any system okay that is a advantage of this registered participant the session live sessions there is no worry that you are missing the session and then okay logic labs team support team is available monday to friday between 9 am to 7 pm ist so you can reach either mail or you can contact an available numbers or these numbers are available on whatsapp you can send a message and team is readily available to assist for any kind of queries we are available on social media these are the links i am going to paste all these links on chat window please join this whatsapp group this uh, social media links to get a regular updates you can click on on any link so you will be part of respect to social media page you are going to get a regular updates about logic labs technologies so all the free sessions all the free sessions will be uploaded to youtube and you are in a position to log in and watch the recorded session how this training is going on yeah let's move on this is all about general information about the course content what is today's agenda today's demo session demo session is today and tomorrow onwards we are going to discuss about technical topics about this course what is today's agenda demo session and self introduction learners introduction explain the course content interact with the learners and question answers this is about today's session let's move on if you have any questions at any point of time you are happy to interrupt me and ask the question yeah what we are going to learn about this particular course vmware administrator what we are going to get we are going to learn about vmware vsphere data center virtualization vcv and it is designed to understand different versions we are going to showcase what are the points we are going to discuss and this vmware administrator once you complete the course you are in a position to perform until l3 level of activities until l3 level of activities this is a equivalent i can't say that equivalent because here in this logic labs technology we are going to provide many features many topics we are going to provide 
that uh, whatever the authorized training center, the course details of authorized training center is installation, configuration, management, data center virtualization 8.0, 7.0, ICM. What is that? ICM. Whatever the course, ICM, installation, configuration of VMware, vSphere, 7.0 or 8.0, wherein you are going to get only installation, configuration, management of the respect to version, either 8.0 or 7.0 in an authorized training center. But here, we are going to start with 6.x and then we are going to upgrade from 6.x to 7.x and 8.0. This is a course module about VMware Administrator. Let's move on. Agenda, As, let's move on. The trainer about myself, self-introduction. I'm Leila Srinivas here having a 22 years of experience in IT industry and played different roles as started my career as a customer support executive. I moved to the top scale my career profession like consultant, senior consultant and technical lead and manager. I played different roles in IT industry related to VMware infrastructure and IT industry. Yeah. 15 years of experience in VMware itself. I started my career in VMware version 3.5 onwards. I'm working on VMware administration. Extensive experience and worked on different level of versions. So I'm in a position to provide, uh, respond to your queries for any kind of issues which you are facing in VMware versions from starting with 3.5 to until 8.0. And having a cloud experience of three years on AWS and Azure. My fashion is delivering the training sessions, six years of experience delivering training sessions. I provide the technical training sessions in uh, companies like standard MNC companies and at the same time, I am providing training session too with kind of online training session. That's where I joined Logic Labs Technologies to provide my sharing, my teaching experience, training experience to individuals. I am certified professional VMware, Azure, AWS, and ITL process as well. This is all about myself, and I'm staying at Bangalore and I joined with Logic Labs Technologies to deliver training sessions on VMware and AWS Cloud. So I'm providing two training modules from Logic Labs Technologies. One is VMware, that is, this is a module I'm, I'm delivering, I have been delivering. And in addition to this, I have been delivering cloud also. AWS cloud technologies. Yeah, this is about myself. So if you would like to speak up, if you would like to share your experience, and please, you are allowed to speak up, you can provide your name and experience and location. What is your expectation? Once I understand your expectation, I'm going to proceed further to what is this course and what are the topics I'm going to cover. I'm going to note down your topics and then explain, is it going to cover or not? Yes, please, please proceed. Everyone is able to speak up. Please unmute yourself and provide your details. Yeah, please go ahead. Hello, sir. Hi, Mahesh. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Parva Parva lo tu pari. Lagna lagi lo tu paat sare na. Ah, even lagat ke. Anyone else to speak up? Any your name and sharing your expertise. What was your expectation?
please proceed unmute yourself you can unmute yourself and speak up uh hello lila this is abdullah here hi abdullah good morning uh, good morning uh, um yeah actually uh, i'm working in uh, chrome point solutions right now so okay. it's uh, a saas product which i'm working on that's metallic okay. uh, i'm into technical support role as well so what i'm looking here in this course is you know learning something more about vmware and how the administration work because we usually troubleshoot on vmware issues and trying to understand how it actually works so i have a decent knowledge on azure and aws but not much knowledge on vmware so just trying to learn on that what version you are working currently your environment uh i'm not sure about the version because i've recently joined so oh. we basically don't troubleshoot on the vmware side but uh, most of the troubleshooting is on our level itself so it's oh. just installation and uninstallation something like that so in order to understand better i you know just opted this course okay thank you abdullah you are in right place to understand i am going to start from the scratch this course is designed i am going to explain what we are going to cover as part of this course. thanks sure. abdullah sure thank you yeah anyone else if you want to share your expectation what is your expectation why you are joined to this course what is your expectation if you share your experience and expectation i am in a position to understand why you are joined yeah even though if you are not in a position to share not a problem i am going to explain so i am going to proceed further at any point of time if you would like to speak up you can unmute if you are not in a position to unmute please raise the hand i am going to unmute okay let's move on what is this course detail as yes mahesh you can unmute yourself you raise the hand mahesh yes please i am not able to hear you Okay. If you are not able to hear any, I am not able to hear you. If you want to type any message, and you can use chat message. I am able to hear you, Karani. Yes, Manish. What is your question? Uh, yeah, my question is um, regarding uh, deep level troubleshooting. Whether what content we are. A covering for troubleshooting common issue in VMware. Okay, very good. Very I can good. do front end. Both we can consider. Okay. Yes, so let me explain what yes. troubleshooting we are going to come into picture. The course details, and you are in a position to understand what kind of troubleshooting. As I stated earlier, this course is designed okay. Okay. to understand right, and do day-to-day -day operations at level three we know we are in a level one level two level three support model yeah. uh, mostly i'm interested into the level three yes first we are going to teach about basics and then once you understand the basics how do we configure what is the best recommended approaches which to configure each and everything and we are going to understand each and every topic so that you are in a position to isolate and pinpoint that aspect to area to troubleshoot the respective issues. Okay. okay. This course is designed for L3 level. Until L3 level, you can do VMR administration. Okay. Thank you. Okay. One more question on the chart window. Is prior knowledge is required? Prior knowledge in the sense it is starting from the scratch. There is no prior knowledge is not required here. The only thing is that you should know about basic administration and basic concepts of infrastructure. If you are going to understand these concepts, I'm going to start with the scratch. What is a system? What is a hardware? Why the VMware is going to come into picture? Then we are going to proceed further. So as I stated, there is no pre-requirements to learn about virtualization, but 
to proceed and to work on this virtualization at least you are should be part of one kind of infrastructure management any it related work experience if you are a fresher you need to do additional practice additional uh, understanding and what kind of administration for example this vmware administration is going to come in on top of it any kind of it infrastructure management you are working for example windows administrator a linux administrator a database administrator or storage administrator like that at least basic one kind of administrator you should know then only you are in a position to use this virtualization where we are using this virtualization why what is the necessity of using virtualization okay that is the only prior requirement to learn about this particular module okay okay let's move on we are going to cover about vmware vsphere data center virtualization 7.0 and and the, the topic the course designed for 7.0 but we are going to work on versions from 6.5 until 8.0 in the same module why we need to work on starting with 6.5 with the help of starting with the legacy version 6.5 we are going to upgrade from 6.5 to 7.0 how we can perform upgrades different versions to other up supported versions most of the enterprise environments currently looking for a engineers l3 engineers which can provide a support for migration or upgradation activities so we are going to understand what are the requirements we need to fulfill to perform upgradation to our managing the environment these all the things are going to come into picture in this particular data center virtualization i am not going to compare that uh, why it is not able to compare with the uh, authorized training module authorized training module it is talks about only one version that is icm installation configuration management it talks about only one version 7.0 or 8.0 and there will be all predefined scripts will be there you are not sure what you are doing but in this module we are going to start from the scratch and we are going to install legacy versions first and understand the concepts and then we are going to upgrade why we need to upgrade what we for action we are performing everything we are going to discuss about this course module okay and why virtualization and the types of virtualization what is a bare metal what is a host architecture we have to understand clearly about bare metal and ghost architecture we are going to discuss about there are different virtualization vendors vmware microsoft citrix nutanix many are there why vmware is industry leader we are going to understand while discussing about what vmware can provide what how friendly it is how easy to understand how easily to configure the same functions you can compare with Microsoft Hyper-V, Citrix Zen Server, or Nutanix, or many more virtualization vendors are available. But VMware still industry leader. That's where you are learning about VMware to understand the environment infrastructure, even current technology, cloud technologies. The cloud technology, either you are going to learn about AWS or Azure or DevOps. All these cloud technologies very badly are depends upon virtualization technology. How the background they are going to, what kind of virtualization is going to use, it is according to their requirements. But without virtualization, without virtualization, there is no cloud. Okay, that's the importance of the virtualization. In this virtualization vendors, we are going to learn about industry leader that is vmware okay so to understand virtualization because virtualization is going to work on physical infrastructure physical infrastructure why only physical infrastructure we are going to understand why virtualization then we are going to understand starting with the hardware basic models 
what is a server what is a rack server what is a blade server different model of servers are available which one we need to choose for virtualization which one we need to choose to install 7.0 vCenter server or vSphere server 7.0 okay we are going we are going to provide hands on practice on dell powerage rack servers this training module is designed with a nominal fees of 11800 INR and providing online sessions as well as we are providing two physical servers Dell Power is Rack servers for your lab practice. It is not a scripted lab. You are going to use your knowledge, hands on practice from the scratch. You are going to connect to the server and you are going to perform remote administration on this physical servers. So you are going to get a live environment experience by doing this lab access. We are going to provide similar environment, how we are going to work on enterprise environment. You are going to connect environment to that customer, wherein you are going to log into the respective servers, the same environment we are replicating here. Even though yeah, I am mentioning as a lab access, this lab access replica of your live environment. Okay. The beauty of this module is you can access the lab from anywhere. There is no necessity to connect to VPN or anything. We are going to provide lab access from anywhere. You should have an internet connection, that's it. And you should have a system wherein you access the lab from anywhere with the internet access. And we are going to start once we understand this basic concepts of why virtualization, what is the hardware components we need to understand. It is not only about uh, hardware component, hardware servers. It is not just hardware server. Within the hardware server, we are going to understand what is a processor, what is a memory, what is a cards, important components within that server hardware within the hardware component, within the hardware server, what are the important components we need to understand to install virtualization component. So I'm, that's what I'm selling that. It is from the scratch. Even though if you don't know anything about virtualization, we are going to provide it from the scratch level installation. You are going to provide installation ESXi host by connecting to Remote management card. What is a remote management card? This is one of the component will be there on each and every physical server. You are going to access that. And then you are going to install. It is not a scripted based installation. You are going to experience kind of live and live environment practice. You are not going to get anywhere else. That's where Logic Labs providing two physical servers. Imagine one physical server to get a rent per month you need to pay 25000 or more but here we are providing a online training sessions live sessions recorded videos and lab access the lab access is will be available for 30 to 45 days and you are in a position to do all kind of whatever the live sessions i am going to show you are in a position to connect lab and then repeat the same steps and you are going to get hands-on experience okay we are going to talk about uh, virtual missions vmfs how do we create switch and v vds and ha drs and many more we are going to discuss about all these functions how do we configure what is the purpose of this configuration how do we achieve drs rules affinity rules and affinity rules all those things are going to configure we are going to deploy initially 6.5 version from 6.5 to we are going to upgrade 6.7 once it is done we are going to upgrade 7.4 and we are going to do 8.0 also okay and we have complete options are available we are going to teach all the concepts which are available 6.5 what are the difference between 6.5 to 6.7 
what is the new features are coming into picture in 7.4 a simplest example of between these two versions 6.x to 7.x how do we upgrade in 6.5 and 6.7 we are going to call it as a update manager whereas in 7.0 onwards it is going to come as a life cycle manager what are the baselines we need to create how do we perform upgrade? How do we perform update? These are all maintenance activities. So all these things we are going to perform on live environment. That is, we are providing as a lab access. And upgrade scenarios, 6.5 to 6.7, 6.x to 7.x, and 7.x to 8.0. We are going to see what are the planning activity we need to do for upgrade scenarios. What P2V to B2V migrations by using VMware standalone converter. I'm going to over you. It is a theory topic. Just give us a heads up. What is migrations? How physical to virtual and virtual to virtual migrations? And what scenarios are there? These migrations are going to come into picture. We are going to learn about. And see here, update manager and lifecycle manager. What we can do with the update manager and lifecycle manager. The environment, we are going to make sure compliant with the latest patches, latest upgrade versions. We are going to achieve that compliance, the security compliance with the help of update manager and lifecycle manager. Update manager will be there until 6.7 and 7.0 onwards, it is available as a lifecycle manager. And these are all the things. At the end, we are going to explore what are this command line execution, commands, troubleshooting, what are the logs we need to analyze, what is a PS4 error, purple screen of death, and how do we troubleshoot, what log we need to review to understand what is the issue, and what kind of commands we need to execute to install, to upgrade, to update, or troubleshooting. We are going to understand what kind of basic command you are in a position to practice. All these on your lab access. Planning procedure. Any questions? Till now? Any questions? Most important thing, these particular live sessions I'm looking for interactive because VMware virtualization, as we are learning about virtualization, we are going to talk about imagination because the physical server will be treated as I'm going to deploy number of virtual servers. Number of by 20 or 50 virtual servers. That means virtual server means it is an imagination. So that's what we are going to do. Okay, most important thing, it has to be interactive. Simply listening is not work out here. So it has to be interactive. All our live and interactive sessions, that is important. Interact interaction is very, very important. Okay. Simply listening is not going to work out. Each session will be recorded and uploaded along with the notes. Whatever the notes I'm going to step by step, I'm going to mention here, step by step in the note session. This note file will be uploaded along with the recorded session to the LMS graphy portal. And it will be available for lifetime. That is a beauty. Once even course is completed, you can refer and you can play the recorded video and you can download that note files for your practice. One-to-one -one interaction correlates with their live production environment. Whatever the issues you are going to face in a production environment, first we are going to understand and implement the same scenario in, in this particular lab. If still you are not able to understand, you can correlate how do we troubleshoot that live in sessions, live production issues. 
Logic Lab training provides live installation, configuration, and enterprise class server hardware. That is a very, very important, which we are providing from Logic Labs technologies that we are providing to physical servers to do your installation, to do your practice, to do your troubleshooting skills with this physical servers. Lab access will be provided to everyone to get hands-on practices. As soon as whoever completes the payment and registered participants will get a separate a Zoom link and they are going to get a login credentials to log into the lab. What is this lab? We are going to connect this is a server we are going to connect with the help of <coughs> provided credentials. We, once you are going to connect, this server is configured with public IP. So you are able to connect from anywhere. Only thing is that you should have internet access and to connect this environment. This is a lab access. We are going to provide a Dell 2 power servers. This is a remote management card, which I'm going to connect now. <clears throat> there are two physical servers are there. One is Dell power server R820, one is R630. These two physical servers, you are going to log in and do all necessary actions to do your lab practice. Okay, back to that screen. Uh, so lab access is available by 24 by 7. Whatever the time you would like to do, you can perform your lab access. Customized training sessions are available for day-to-day -day operations. You can coordinate with the support team if you want to customize training for your day-to-day -day operations. This module is designed only to perform with a number of participants. If you want to a specific process then you can coordinate with the support team to get to meet the day-to-day -day operations without any issues okay if you want to do any activity you can coordinate with if for more information you can coordinate with our admin team admin team is available monday to saturday from 9 a.m to 7 p.m isp this other one two sessions lab sessions this is the R820, that's what I showed you in uh, our lab access. So you are going to get a two physical servers to perform your lab. It is equal to similar servers which are available in live environment. Okay, Dell power is R820, Dell power is R630. You are going to log into the console and you are going to understand what action to be perform. You are going to connect to the console of the physical server and you are going to perform installation hands-on practice. This is a very important. You are not going to get a hands-on practice. Even if you join authorized training provider center, authorized training center, you are not in a position to get this kind of access. There are always a scripted kind of things. You are going to just install the vCenter server or ESXi host with a scripted, but you are not going to understand what it is happening, what the background is happening. But in this particular training module, for from the scratch, from each and everything you are going to do on your own without any scripted installations, you are going to configure RAID on these two physical servers. How do you configure RAID? This, once you log into the server, you are going to connect this particular RAID controller to configure the disk management, and to then you are going to install. These all the steps I'm going to do live, and then you are going to perform on your own by connecting to the respective servers, and you are going to mount that ISO image that ISO images are available in the same server. You can find this particular dumps are available. You are going to connect this browser and then you are going to start with activities. All the software is readily available. You are going to perform all type of ESXS 6.5, vCenter server. All these versions you are going to practice. Okay. I'm going to showcase and then you are going to 
perform once live session is completed during live session uh, we are not in a position to perform parallel operation if you perform parallel operation you are going to miss that concept so live session i am going to showcase what are the steps we need to perform to proceed with once that recall live session is done then you are going to have a 23 hours or a 10 hours of your time you can practice on immediately see vcenter server installation you are going to install vcenter server i am going to showcase how do you start you are not going to use the same vcenter server you are going to deploy our own and you are going to practice our own, your own vcenter server literally you are going to create your own environment to do installation to do practice and to do all the steps configuration troubleshooting installation upgradation everything you are going to do on your own by understanding this module see there's a cluster features you are going to configure i'm going to show this in the live session once live session is done this is my vcenter server which i'm going to deploy during live session the same kind of vcenter server you are going to deploy and you are going to practice you are going to configure if you are not going moving the mouse simply listening is not going to work at all in this particular vmware administration once you understand the topic you have to do hands on then only you are going to get exposed to the topics expertise on the topics okay all these concepts we are going to discuss in our sessions this is a live sessions previous live sessions screen captures to showcase what are the things we are going to do i am captured all this information to present in this demo session what we are going to do in this particular four weeks module or five weeks or six weeks module okay there is no time limitation we are going to cover all the topics which you are looking for under this particular topic module it may extend one more week or it may extend two more weeks there is no i need to uh, there is no rule that i need to complete this module within four weeks no it is not like that it is intention it is important you need to understand the topics okay the update manager life cycle manager how do we create baselines and how do we perform updates how do we perform updates how do we create this all the configuration parameters i'm going to showcase and you are going to perform on your own see upgrade vcenter 6.x to 7.x how the performance are going to perform all these actions we are going to discuss any questions on this demo sessions if you are not able to speak up you can unmute this is all about today's agenda to talk about now i provided uh, how the training module is going to move forward and how the lab sessions are there everything provided if you still have any questions you can ask me or you can mention in the chat window i am in a position to respond to your queries any questions please okay then if no questions that is all for today see you tomorrow to proceed with tomorrow's agenda basics of vmware administration thank you all have a great day see you tomorrow bye